Hello everybody, my name is Paul and welcome to welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be starting a new series, a uh, really popular series that you may or may not have heard of, but uh, it's Moon Knight, it's Marvel's new show. Uh, you guys voted for it, uh, if you guys don't know, I have a community tab and I put out a poll of what I should react to next and you guys decided to vote for Moon Knight, surprise. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that and second place got Peacemaker since Moon Knight airs like once a week. I'm also going to be reacting to Peacemaker as well since that's already out and finished. But yeah, so thank you guys to everybody who voted in that. Um, I wasn't expecting anybody to vote for Stargirl or Titan, so I'm very surprised people actually voted for that. I was, I 100% knew Moon Knight and Peacemaker were going to win because um, I feel like those are very popular shows right now that people really liked. So uh, I'm really excited too, but don't worry, I'll plan on reacting to the other shows as well if that's something that you guys want to see. But anyways, so Moon Knight. I've never heard of Moon Knight at all. Um, I don't know who Moon Knight is, never never like heard of him, seen him or anything like that. I don't know much about Marvel characters to be honest with you. I grew up watching a lot of DC shows. So I'm really excited to get to know Moon Knight. I know Moon Knight is kind of centered around uh, Egyptian mythology and I did not read um, Rick Riordan's other series so I don't know anything about Egyptian mythology. I only know about Greek mythology because I only read Percy Jackson. So I'm very interested to see like what this is about i'm really interested to learn about egyptian mythology so yeah anyways guys without further ado let's get into this video i'm gonna let you guys know i will be avoiding copyright like the plague so uh there are scenes with copyright music in it i'm gonna have to i'm gonna probably be muting the vod muting the recording like through like the whole entire thing so that's why there are subtitles so you can read along with the subtitles without music. Is this like, um, like fortune telling in a way? Is that what this guy's? Oh, never mind. He's putting them into shoes. I hope this is necessary. I really do hope this is necessary for whatever it is that you're trying to do. Oh my gosh, my guy. What a psycho. The main actor in this is not the, is not the same guy from Dune, right? I think Sasha's gonna have to tell me if I'm right or not. Why is he tied to his bed? I guess to keep from sleepwalking or something like that? Hello, mom. It's me. Just checking in. Um, I got your postcard. Oh, he sounds so cute. Hey, mate. Still selling the old brushes and brooms, right? <laughs> right in front of my entrance. <laughs> He's so passive aggressive. Towards here, but just checking. We still on for seven tomorrow. Seven tomorrow. He has no idea what she's talking about. Are you asking me out? I think you already asked her out. What in the world's a bloody vegan going to eat in a steakhouse? I don't know, Donna. Salad, bread. Real catch you are. Oh, this lady sucks. What is her? What is her deal? You know, like. The super group of Egyptian gods, you know, you got Horus, Osiris, Tefna, oh, Shu. Stop, please. If this is some weird audition to tour guide here, the answer's still no. I want to let him tour guide. I feel like you need people who actually like their jobs to do tour guides. Anyway, if I am going to have a girlfriend at some point, obviously can't have ankle restraints from a bed, can I? Sounds like it's more than just sleepwalking, though, if he doesn't remember even asking that girl out. And he is vegan and told her he'll go to a steakhouse. Also, why, what's the sand for? It reminds me of Promal Activity with the salt, where you line your, not Promal Activity, but like just horror movies, where like you line your doors with salt to keep demons from coming to get you. That just kind of reminds me of. It sounds like the, the you know, the uh, sand is to keep something in. But what is he keeping in? Keep and, and I guess he's clearly aware of it. Because otherwise, what's with the sand? Oh, wait, is the sand so that he knows? Oh, is the sand so that, because you can see the footprints, right? So if the sand is he knows that if he leaves, or if he gets out, that he'll know that he went somewhere because he'll see footprints, like, in the sand? That could be it, too. That'd be smart, actually. So that was the sand. Was, oh. Guess it didn't do anything. Guess it didn't help. Oh, what's wrong with his face? Oh my gosh, his jaw is broken. Oh, his jaw. Ooh. 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 
Go back to sleep, worm. Hello? What? Who is that? Interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, who is the disembodied voice? Mother, where did he go? He was in London, now he's in some cold town? What a beautiful day. It's like we're in heaven. Only it's not heaven, is it? No, it's a creepy cold town. We are here to make the earth as much like heaven as possible. Who'd like to go first? Brother, you should leave. You should get the hell out of there. Will you accept your scales regardless of the outcome? Yes. I don't know what's going on. I I'm I need more context. I'm thoroughly confused. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I've been good my entire life. I guess not, girly. The scales see everything. Perhaps it's something that lies ahead. She's like 80. What's oh, what is she going to do? To I'm a meat. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh no, Steve. <laughs> Will you return the scarab? Alright. You will give him nothing. Yeah. Oh! And this embodied voice ain't gonna let you do squat, dude. To return that. Guys, he's trying. He, he, he can't. Take it. So strange. Sorry about that. Oh! I will not ask again. I didn't do that on purpose. Steven, just leave. Steven, you just gotta leave. They they just didn't think you're nuts. I'm trying to stop my legs from moving. I'm trying to give it to you. Wait, 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 wait. It's all right. <laughs> oh, ooh. Ah. No, the idiot's back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what? Oh. Uh. I mean, just as sorry with blood all over his hands as if they're gonna forgive him. What? Go. Yeah, you should go. You should go, Steven. Just go. You should run. Don't you dare drop the scarab. All right, all right, all right. He's so weirdly nonchalant about everything. He he literally has like blood on his hands. He just beat the crap out of his people. He's like, uh, so I see I've made you angry. But I, I just gotta go. <laughs> like he's so weirdly calm about it. It's kinda like eerie. He's a little quirky, he's a little quirky. Ooh, I wonder how did he get so far from London? I don't even know where he's at though. So we have two entities. We have a disembodied voice and then we have someone named Mark. Steven, you gotta do something about that guy. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. Cupcakes. Oh! What? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. If he loses the scarab, I'll kill you both. I don't understand what's happening! Steven, just let Mark take over. I'm too scared for Steven. Steven does not have the capabilities to be doing this right now. Ooh, okay, we're doing that again. I wonder why- why does he... I guess Mark doesn't have too much control over Steven. It seems like- Did he just throw the gun? Then leave must be. Why? Uh, uh, you know what? It's okay, Steven. I'm having a hard day. I'm... You're fine. Ooh, Steven. Steven, get down. What? Hey, what? Mark must have taken over, right? I don't believe that was all a dream. That was way too elaborate. What Neanderthals dreamed of, but paleo we doing, Gus? Sleep all right? Uh, so, I'm really curious. So, it seemed like Mark could only take over for, like, a short amount of time when they were, like, in that situation. I mean, what? What happened? I was talking and I didn't see what he's looking at. Oh, it has two fins. Fish. Oh, that goldfish is huge. Is that clock right? No, that's impossible. I just woke up. I've got a date. Sorry, I've got a date. Oh yeah, yeah. My man, you should not be going on any dates right now. He he barely knows 
from up and down like he's ah he's having major episodes like going on the date is like just is not the move expecting one more yeah not looking so good is it yeah. oh did she ditch or was he super late i feel i kind of feel bad for steven though like he's just suffering yeah i ate steak by myself thanks two days ago <gasps> what Oh my gosh, he's been blacked out for two days. Oh my gosh, he's been blacked out for- Okay, never mind, I thought Mark couldn't take over for like, long period of time, but I guess he took over for two days. It's Sunday, sir. No. Is it... Really? Oh, I feel really bad. It's actually really sad. Um, you know what? I'll have a steak, please. Isn't this man vegan? What happened to his veganism? Oh no. Yo, know, he is, he is, ro he hit rock bottom, clearly. It's really sad because there are people who do suffer from like episodic behavior, like, you know, like just blackouts or they can't remember. Really sad, honestly. Like, he lost two days of his life, he doesn't remember what happened, he doesn't know what's going on with him. Super depressing. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think you should be doing that. I should really be doing that. Ooh, Mark has been keeping some secrets, it looks like. Maybe you should clean up your face a little bit. Oh. How did he not- why did he fix that? I guess he wasn't expecting <laughs> the idiot to, to figure it out. Do you want to answer that? I don't know if we should answer that. Who do you think I am? What do you mean, who? What's wrong with you, Mark? Oh. Oh no. Buddy, you're- <laughs> Hello? Steven. Ew. That's so creepy, dude. You're gonna get yourself in trouble. No, 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 mate. Someone's having a laugh. Get in so trouble with what? So who is that? Creepy mother effer. What the phone? He's really trying to attack with a phone? Oh, ooh. Stop looking. I don't know, after all those events, why would you stop? Oh, there's a mirror right behind you, buddy. I don't think this is gonna work. After all those events happening, I don't think I would stop. That would make me even more curious. Oh, ooh. Ew. Uh, close the door, 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 close the door. Close the door. Steven, close the damn door. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hiya. Hey. You alright? Fine, thank you. No, she's like on me on this elevator right now. You know, she is so scared. Are we back on the fifth floor? Yes, the thief. My friend Claire lives here. I'm visiting her. She's expecting me. Oh my god, she's so scared. <laughs> She's like, this guy's gonna kill me. She's like, please, Claire, open up the door, open up the door. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. Dude, what is happening? Oh. I think at that point I checked myself into a mental hospital. Like, there's no way. That's psychotic. <gasps> oh my god, he's real. I don't know if I would think anything is real, to be honest. Like, how do you... I, like, I'd be questioning my reality at this point. I really do work here. Oh, me, Ronnie. This man right here, he's been following me. No, I don't know. <gasps> oh, no, he's so screwed. The justice of Ahmed surveys the whole of our lives. Got it. Past, present, future. Oh, so she grew tired of pe winning people to sin, so she just looked into the future for when they were going to sin and just killed them anyways? Yeah. Sounds a little psycho. Had Ahmed been free, she would have prevented Hitler, but she was betrayed by even her own avatar. What does she mean by avatar? Does that mean like, is that, is that, is that vessel? That's what it sounds like to me. The voice in your head devours you until there's nothing left. Don't let that man touch you. Don't let that man touch you. What are you doing, Steven? I am trying. I saw you kill that woman in the Alps. Steven, Steven, please, Steven, Steven, don't let him touch you. What are you doing? 
Do you want to die? There's chaos in you. No, was, uh, what does that mean? Undecided? Couldn't. Oh, I guess there it wasn't really a set path. Let him go. <laughs> he runs like a GTA character. Oh my, he's still working? Why? What's the point? Why is he still there? Why is he still working? Uh, I wouldn't. St st I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm sure the dog's fine. Eh. Yeah, there ain't no dog. Hey, boy. Hello? Steven, after all that's happened today, after all that's happened today, this is what we're doing. Time to leave. Time to run. Time to run. Time to run. Stephen Grant of the gift shop. Give me the scarab and you won't be torn apart. Does he even still have that? Oh, actually, he might because he blacked out. <gasps> Where's Mark when you need him? Because he really needs him. You need to give me control. Do you understand? What control of what? What are you talking about? Control of your body. Just give him control, Stephen. You're about to die. No! Look at me. No! Look at me. This is real. I'm real. No, 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 no. Steven, you're about to die. Just do it. What do you- what do you- you got nothing better to do. Let me save us. Just do it. Ooh, what's that on the walls? Hieroglyphics all over the place. <gasps> we finally get to see! Hold on a second, he has to transform! Oh, that's sick. Ooh! His costume is sick. Oh, that was it? Damn, dude, his costume is so sick. Ah, that ending. That was cool. That was so cool. This was really good. I like it. I like it so far. It's very much like, I, not to say like all, uh, I don't want to say all over the place in, in a bad way, all over the place in kind of like a, like a good way like it's structured but also it's like uh like frazzled like chaos like you know it's kind of like it's kind of hard to explain i do like how they so i'm reading the synopsis so, synopsis when stephen grant a mild manner gift shop employee becomes plagued with blackouts and memories of another life he discovers that he has associative identity disorder the id and shares the body with a mercenary mark specter stephen and mark's enemies converge on them, they must navigate their complex enemies while thrust into a deadly mystery among the powerful gods of Egypt. So it has associative identity disorder. Which may- okay, that, that, that definitely that makes sense. So I wonder how long he's had- I think like he's had that for like a very long time. So I'm assuming he has- did he have that because of Mark? Or is that something that he's had his whole entire life? That's also an interesting question. So, I like that. I don't know anything about this, uh, DID or did I don't know anything about that disorder. But I, I feel like they did a really good job. People who don't know, at least, like, I, I feel like conveying, like, what's, I guess, how people who do act, who do have that order, how they actually kind of, like, what actually happens. Because there were so many random blackouts. It was just a cut. They were like, cutting to different scenes. Like, they were like, oh. In one scene, he's here. In next scene, he's somewhere else. And one scene, he's like fully unseen. He's like blacked out. And he's somewhere else. Like it's it's crazy. It's like he's like he loses so much time. And it's really sad too. For people who do have this disorder, who like they lose so much. Like you don't even know what's happening to you. You don't know what happens when you're not awake. You feel like you're kind of like out of place like you don't like like you're you know someone's taking over your body so i, I do like how they incorporated this disorder and they kind of like made it cool for people to understand and they kind of made it you know i swear it's not cool or anything you know like it's, it's sad people who have that but i do like how they incorporated someone who has this disorder as like a superhero or i actually am assuming a superhero but he's a mercenary but you know as someone who's like uh you know some cool like a marvel character who has disorders. So i think that's really cool for people who do have this disorder so I really like that. I like that. It's really cool. 
and I'm having fun with it. And it's been really, it's been super fun so far. I'm really interested to see uh, the other aspects of the show because there's like so many things happening. There's so many mysteries. This costume is so sick. Mark, who is, I'm assuming Mark is Moon Knight. Um, and I don't know how Steven plays into Mark if they are connected or if it's just a random person. Then we have the goddess M Anim Animit, Animit, something like that, who said he was that it was she was betrayed by her avatar, which I'm assuming avatar is a vessel. So I'm assuming Mark is an avatar. I'm assuming I'm not sorry, Mark. I'm assuming Steven is an avatar. And I'm assuming that means that Eminit was betrayed by whoever she was possessing. Um I think it's Layla because I guess that's the only person we have to to see. But there's another character, Layla, who has something to do with it as well. I don't know who Layla is, but so we got a cult following, people who worship some goddess who basically just kills all sinners, which could be every person on the single earth. <laughs> I don't know how she, what's classified as a sinner, uh, and what's not classified as a sinner, but uh, seems pretty. It's pretty shoddy, but uh, yeah. Anyways, this was fun. I'm still confused though. Like I said, I don't know anything about Muna. I know nothing about. It. I'm going completely just blind, like just don't know anything at all, any further knowledge at all. So let me know what you guys think in comments below. Um, no, no spoilers. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna resist the urge to look on the wiki because I love the fandom wiki a lot. I spend a lot of time on the fandom wikis. So I'm gonna resist the urge to not look on the fandom wiki. Because I want to find out how, like, about this character naturally through the show. And after the show ends, I know it's just short, it's only, six, it's only six episodes. So after the season ends, then I will, you know, converse with the fandom wiki and spoil everything about the character for myself. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. What do you guys think about Moon Knight? You know, like, what's happening? Do you know about Moon Knight? Do you think about it? Yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And turn on post notifications to know if I never upload a new video. Um, follow me on social to see more of my face. And that's going to be it for today's video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.